Hey y'all, it's Kitty Bang, and today we are doing 10 things that you need to know before getting a hamster. This is Tater Tot. She's helping us with the video. Tater Tot, can you not be as explorey right now? That's a good one. One is that they love to explore and need time outside of their cage because they thoroughly enjoy it. Oh, look at her, she's so cute. Okay. First things first is their tank size. And hamsters need a bigger enclosure than the ones in pet stores. So I would say about a 40 gallon is perfect for them. Um, you can go bigger, but no smaller than that because they like to explore, they have a lot of energy and they're very adventurous. So I think that that is about a good size for them. Hamsters live between one and three years um, and two to three years with good care. You wanna make sure that you're giving them good care so they live for as long as they possibly can, but these little guys have a pretty short lifespan. Hamsters teeth are always growing, so they do need chews in their enclosure at all times. What I always do is I get like the wood chews so they can chew them down and then kind of grind on their teeth as they're having fun chewing on everything. Hamsters are foragers, so they have a very high metabolic rate, so they need food and water in their enclosure at all times. And they always have to have access to it. Some people say that dwarf hamsters can live together, but most hamsters need their own cage because they do become territorial when they're older and it just does more harm than good to house hamsters together. This girl here is actually a Syrian hamster, but you wanna make sure that you know what breed of hamster you're getting because there's about five main ones um, and they're all different sizes and shapes and hamsters come in all different shapes and sizes, so know which one you're getting. Hamsters are very energetic and it is necessary that you have a wheel for them. A good wheel size is about 10 inches in diameter because then they will always be able to fit in it and it'll just be perfect for them. These little guys do not do well with extreme temperatures so putting them in a place where they're not in direct sunlight and are just in room temperature is very, very important. Hamsters like to burrow so it is important that you put about four inches or more of bedding in their enclosure so that they can burrow and have a good old time and when they sleep and hide. Hamsters love fruits and veggies but these are only safe to make up about 10% of their diet so oh she's in my shirt. It's pretty important that you give them fruits and veggies because they're good for them but not too much. These little things are a lot of fun but they are not a kid friendly pet if your kid is going to drop them and stuff. You have to make sure that they are treated like a living being because they are and they do have feelings and emotions and yeah you need to take proper care of them because they are a member of your family. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so much and Tater Tot wants treats and wants to explore. Um, but thank you for putting up with me and Tater Tot and we will see you next video. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Bye!